Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, Witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there, uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc. etc. It's absolutely lovely, and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them scented and colored, and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi, Capricorn. How are you? I hope you're fine. And this is your reading. So... I'm using the transparent terror because uh, I'm going to build up the story again and uh, it seems that you love the transparent terror as well. I got the most hits on on the, the transparent terror and uh, Tinker uh, from Tinker Tarot is also using them. Okay. I'm glad that I've motivated somebody else to use them. You don't see a lot of people using them. Okay. So we've got the king of no the knight of cups he's holding the cups so that you might be getting an offer this week this could be of love or a job or anything else somebody might be making you an offer this could be anybody from the water element and that is cancer scorpio and pisces they could also be very spiritual then we have the Five of Pentacles. You might feel out of sorts. You might feel left out. So somebody might give you an offer or an invitation to join a group. The Five of Pentacles means officially that you feel left out. But usually in a traditional tarot card, you also see a church window. So that means you can ask for help don't sh be shy and don't uh, be afraid or ashamed to ask for help if you haven't got any money at the moment or if you are out of balance perhaps you're trying to balance your heart to your to your mind or your work and your home front because of the COVID a lot of people um, work from home but they are also made redundant at the, at this time and that is awful and then you do feel out of sorts if you are one of those persons don't worry there is help available like I said you usually see a window in the traditional tarot a, a window from the church that means institutions for me or municipalities go out there and seek help and don't be afraid or ashamed of asking for financial help there is such a thing called the dole money okay so it just might bridge you over to the next job or the next phase but by the looks of it you are going to get a job offer if you do go to the municipalities perhaps they might have a job center here in Holland they do and they will help you to get a job so that you can feel uh, in balance again and that you belong to something or somebody to a group of people you look at the optimistic side you will be receiving money and you will be making new friends and with new colleagues <coughs> and your next card is the three of swords right the three of swords you might be feeling depressed you might be feeling hopelessly depressed don't worry because like I said you can ask for help so don't get desperate and the three of swords also means that you might you might have lost your job but you could have lost something else as well and you're worried about that because it costs money perhaps you might somebody might have taken a bike of yours and pinched it like I have I know somebody that happened to it this week and it does cost money to replace and perhaps you haven't got enough money um, in these hard times but there is an offer coming perhaps somebody's found that your bike this is hypothetically you can lose a pet you can lose a loved one you can have split up in a relationship because of money arguments of money but love is coming back in 
don't get desperate share your problems ask for help if you have problems or issues or worries don't go within yourself come out and ask for help you know um, time will heal even if you've broken up from a relationship or if you are going through hard times but there is something new coming in you're going to get news okay I am shaking the cards you might be hearing it um, and wow look at this you've got the sword the ace of swords and I'm going to start layering them now because I'm going to do two cards for each day okay now victory is yours this could mean a new study this could be that the offer is coming in for a study a workshop or a something new wisdom as the swords stand for wisdom truth justice if you are in a judicial situation and you're feeling cut a cut off and that you've had a loss perhaps you had an accident and you are upset because you lost your job because you can't do your job anymore because of this accident it could be um, a situation at work that you've had an accident at work well you will have victory because you will have to go uh, and seek legal advice so that you that your income doesn't uh, have loss because then you will receive compensation as they call it and then justice will be yours if you've had an accident at work or perhaps you you might have had an accident in the car or on a bike I don't know why because the bike is coming back and back in my head and perhaps somebody might have taken your bike or hit your bike or stolen your bike and now they have found it that's the offer that's coming in the news you see because you've got the page and it means that your bike is either found or you'll get compensated by the insurance let's see whether we can get an other more specific uh, answer wow and we have the world number 21 yes 21 and I like to do it this way because uh, the cards are a little bit hollow so I like to put them down so they c they don't lie like that look that's what I mean you see well, I can do it like that if you want but it will curl up right now look at this everything is going to come together there's an end of a phase a new beginning something is coming full circle just look at it you will you are in the center of attention your karma this is my karma card and I said you've got victory so karma is coming around big time you might be moving home you might be moving from one business to another business you might be totally doing something different okay look at that you've got the victory but the sword also means knowledge wisdom so you might start a new internship or you might start a new study that will bring in the money the world is your oyster that is what I'm hearing and if you've done good you'll get it back threefold if you've done bad you'll get it back threefold so karma is coming your way so make sure that you stay positive and you'll get good karma in a relationship or in a you might like I said you are the center of attention so you might be moving up the ladder um, at work if you um, are lo if they are reorganizing then you might get another job within that firm but it will be a different position that means a promotion you might have to move home for this position so don't worry things are turning around now the last card the last card that I will take is let's have a look <coughs> rainbow 
Haha, <laughs> you are full of rainbows, look at that. And just to join up the whole reading, you will find your balance. You'll be back on your feet again. Don't worry, look at this temperance. So you could be meeting a uh, Sagittarius. But you will have things back in balance. Things are joining up. Like I said, the world is your oyster. The, this is the world and you are finding your balance back again because you will ask for help if you need to. Justice will be done. You could also, the Ace of Swords also means that you could be meeting an air sign, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. I'm trying to make a film but it is a bit slippery today. So you will, the rainbow is coming, okay? Look at the cups, you've got the Knight of Cups. Your emotions will be happy. You will be getting back into action and you take you will be taking action so wow this is beautiful now to top it all i will draw a card from the everyday witch and i think this is a beautiful reading although you've had loss time will heal and get over it you can't change the past stand in your own strength okay stand in your own strength and seek help uh, because you will get help well this one has jumped out and right to the ground and you've got the Sun so there could also be a Libra uh, sorry Leo that is interested in you you've got the Sun to top it all there you go so the Sun the Sun also means moving home going on holiday going up to the next level like I said you are in the center of attention you are in the spotlight okay somebody's got an eye on you in the positive sense now the Sun also means uh, that it illuminates things where there is a spotlight there is also illumination because the Sun gives light okay the time is fertile the time is really really positive you might be hearing of a birth or finding out that you're pregnant this birth could be of a child this birth can be of a project as well a new job a new hobby beautiful going up to the next level in relationships or at work promotions absolutely awesome it is confirming the reading the truth will come out everything will turn out positive okay so don't worry and for your last card we have sweet dreams and we've just begun, uh, come into October and it was a full moon and there will be another full moon on the 31st on Halloween and that means blue moon so something magical is going to happen something in a blue moon ha happens magically cozy up to the moment and snuggle into it set down whatever needs setting down and enter a state of release through a snooze release the negative things okay the three of swords <coughs> excuse me you may have been struggling to keep up with all that you've given yourself to do and nothing more can be done right now hand over to the divine everything you have been mulling over mulling over you're sitting there okay in a state of deep rest you may receive symbols from your soul and offer solutions to your quandaries at the very least you may find that your mind is clearer and your emotions karma upon waking hence you may see that problems are sometimes best approached by leaving them alone altogether give yourself permission to enter into the pleasantness of Neptune and sorry nap time <laughs> Neptune right okay Neptune uh, sorry about that guys nap time and lovely dreams 
Well, we do have Neptune because we have the water, the Knight of Water, but not the King of Water. That's in some decks Neptune as well. So that is your reading for this week, my darlings. I hope you've enjoyed it. And like I said, take it easy. Give me the thumbs up, please. Much appreciated. And stay healthy. And in, if you are in a hemisphere where there is sun, enjoy the sun and be careful. And also, if you would like to have an extended reading, then please have a look below in the description box because I'm doing an awesome reading and that's with the crystal ball and tarot cards and oracle cards have a look at the website but it's an awesome reading and I if you want me to use the transparent tarot you or any other deck that you've seen me use um, the choice is up to you take care God bless and stay safe